Hi again YouTubers. This is just a quick haul video and a cool thing that I got. Um, I stopped in Ulta after I was uh, done at a couple places I had to go to today and then I stopped in CVS because uh, a couple of the things that I wanted weren't available at Ulta or they didn't have the right color or whatever. Um, my Ulta is kind of a mess I'm finding lately. So um, I picked up a couple things and this is just combined so I'm going to go through it by product. That's probably the best way for me. Um, I picked up Rimmel's Stay Matte Skin Pure Complex Clarifying Matte Foundation. I bought it in color 201 Classic Beige. I'm not sure how this color is going to work out for me but um, this is what the package looks like and makeup... no sorry, MAC Face to Adore. Um, whoop, there went the phone. Mac Face to Adore loves this stuff, so I definitely wanted to give it a try. Um, excited, whoa, that is not stopping right now. Um, so super excited to try this. Gonna give that a try. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that keeps ringing even though I hit ignore. Um, anyway, then I picked up the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Foundation Primer, Smooth Skin and Minimizes Pores. This was hard to find. They didn't have it at my Ulta, so I went to CVS for this one. Um, a lot of people have said some good things about this. Um, it has a color to it. It's kind of like a pinky tone. Pinky orange tone. I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. I'll let you guys know. And by the way, um, if you want reviews on anything, definitely let me know. But um, just as an FYI, if you guys ask for a review on something and it takes me a while to post it, it's because of the fact of the matter that I try the product out with normal things like meaning I wouldn't put these two on my face right away because then I wouldn't know which one if I had a bad reaction was causing it so one day I'll use this with my normal stuff like my normal foundation and things like that um, and if and I'll try it the next day probably the same thing but then um, if that's working then I'll try this with it or so on and so forth or I might just try this foundation one day because I feel like it um, and I'll be able to after a couple times of trying it tell you but I don't ever want to just do a review trying it once or do a review using two brand new things because then I don't know what uh, caused the reaction so the next thing I picked up was an NYX uh, white pencil it's an eye pencil and it's a regular pencil um, it has good pigmentation to it. I lost my uh, Urban Decay one. I don't know what I did with it. So I figured I don't need an expensive one. I very rarely use it, but when I do, I wanted to have one. Then people were asking me about the NYX um, round lipsticks. This is in the color Cedo 546. This is what it looks like. Um, it's a pretty nude color. I'll just swatch. Just a pretty color. Um, pretty nude, but I figured I'd start with a nude color with them. I'll let you guys know. Um, then I picked up this thing. I don't even know why when I was at Ulta it just caught my eye. Uh, it's called Bare Natur Natural by L'Oreal Gentle Lip Conditioner. This is what it looks like. It's kind of weird. And then you turn this. I guess to get the product come up. Diesel dog. What are you doing over there? Alright, nothing is coming up. Am I doing this wrong? There we go. Whoop, now it's all coming out. See this? Somebody's honking their horn outside too. Can you hear that? Look at all this. Goodness. All right. There's a lot of it here, guys. Sorry. That's the color. It's just a nude lip gloss. That's hard to tell. I already had on the lip gloss. Okay, this is messy. It keeps coming up. Oh, and it's sticky. Like, I just put a tissue on it and it's all stuck to it. I don't know what I think of that one. Actually, I do know what I think of it. For $9, I don't think I'll like it. I don't know. I'll give it a try. I'll let you guys know if you want a review. Then, if you guys have seen um, one of my last hauls, I bought a Milani lip mixer in the number 703, and I love this color. It is a beautiful summer shimmer color. Um, it's kind of coral and pink. It's a great combination, and I love it. So I picked up another one so that I can throw one in the car and just leave it there. Um, but I also saw another color. Some of the pink ones I didn't go for because the pink ones were like pink like really pink and I just thought it was going to be too much um, but I did find one that has a really pretty bronze tone to it and it looked a little scary but I have it on right now and it's 701 lip mingle 
Um, and it's a pretty cool color. These are inexpensive, so I wanted to give that a try. This lip gloss is gross on my hand, guys. Sorry, I'm like afraid to touch anything because I'm worried I'm going to get it all over the place. And it is transferring everywhere. Um, and then when I was at CVS, now a lot of people have been asking me for Maybelline's Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation uh, to do a review on it. I had trouble finding a color that I thought was going to work on my skin. Now that I have this home, I don't think this is going to work either. So I might give it a shot. I don't know what I think of this. But it was buy one, get one free. And since I was buying that, I saw this cool thing. And of course, they don't have names on them. It's one of their, like, they call it a plumping lipstick. I don't know how that works. But it looked like a slim shine to me. That's it. I don't know. Doesn't smell. It smells citrusy. Um, oh, here we go. Volume XL Seduction Plumping Lip Color. And I got number 120 Peach Plum. So I'll give that a try. Um, and then I just wanted to let you guys know, I have a new pair of earrings that um, were sent to me by Kelly. And she is, it's called View Monde Boutique. Kelly, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, I'm going to post her YouTube channel over to the side. And she sells um, a bunch of different jewelry. But I loved these. Um, they're so cool. They're such fun earrings. She has a ton of stuff, um, but they're really, really cute stuff, and they're fairly inexpensive, and it comes in this really cute little packaging with our card and a little thank you thing, um, and I love it. I'm so excited. KB Originals, Beaumonde Boutique, um, and I'm going to put her website over to the side. Oh, this stupid sun again. I don't know why it does this, but... Um, that is my haul, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or would like a review on anything you saw, please put a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day. Bye.